Umar Ahmed, IFL TV, MTK Global. I'm in a public workout for White Chisora 2. I'm joined by the man looking after Derek, David A. How are you, sir? I'm very good. Good, yeah. Uh, Derek's been through his paces. He says it's war. We're nearly, we're nearly there on Saturday. Yeah, we're at the business end of a uh, training camp now. Is all the all the hard work's done? It's just about a little bit of fine tuning now. But you know, he's not going to get any fitter. You know, he's not going to get any hungrier. It's just about making making sure that you know he peaks on Saturday night. He looks good. He's trained hard. Physically, he's in great shape. Mentally, he seems on point. And uh, Saturday night, we'll we'll see if it's round 13. The first 12 rounds of their first fight were some of the best rounds. Most people who. Do, who were ringside and people watching on Sky Box Office had ever seen. And let's hope it continues. Continue. Let's hope round 13 starts Definitely. on Saturday night. Definitely. Do you think Dylan will box a little bit smart, not get much engaged will, like yeah, last time? He'll try to. If he's, if he's smart, yeah. Well, yeah. He's got so much at stake, you know, big, massive potential uh, AJ fight in April. Why risk getting cut? Why risk getting hurt and knocked down and getting do dragged to a dogfight? He's going to want to keep this fight at, 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 at arm's length. He's got very, you can see him, he's got very, very long arms and he's working on you know, keeping Derek at the end of those, which is understandable. Uh, Derek's job is to get inside those long arms and let his hands go. And uh, it's going to be fun and it's going to be exciting. And you know, anybody who has Sky, who got to tune into the box office, it's going to be an absolute, absolute great fight. Mm. In the first fight, we saw Derek land a lot of clean left hooks, sort of body and head, but he didn't. He wasn't really doubling up on his shots. Is that the key for him in this fight? I don't think he had the physical conditioning to. I think he wanted to, but he just was too tired to do that. So for, for us, this camp, he was making sure that whatever punches he feels he needs to throw, he can throw without worrying about gassing out. And uh, that's that's what he, that's what he's going to be doing in the first round. He's letting his hands go. To predict the knockout for Derek? Yeah, I think if there's ever going to be a chance in his whole career that he was ever in physical condition to stop someone as good as Dylan White is now. You know, he's, he's paid the price, his coach Don Charles said to me he's never seen him in such condition. He's so pleased that we've been able to get Derek to get through as many hard, grueling sessions as he's done, as, as in the past that, that was not the case. So um, let's just hope, you know, tactically, and uh, he, he throws the right shots at the right times and um, he has a victorious evening. Obviously we're coming to the end of 2018. Do you think it could take fight of the year? It has all the, the hallmarks to do so. It has everything you require. The first fight was epic. The second fight could be. Both fighters have improved. Both fighters are a little older. They're a little wiser, a little stronger, a lot fitter. So all of the elements that you would require for a fight of the year, candidate at least, uh, a standing just not too far away from me now. <laughs> so we've got, all, we've got all the elements for a fight of the year, no doubt. Mm. People said every time Derek stepped up, um, you know, he's failed eight eight losses. Uh, what do you say to that? I'd agree with that up until his last fight. He stepped Takam, up again yeah. against Takam and he, uh, and he pulled it off. He mm. pulled off the, the impossible. Even if you'd have asked someone to take a bet on Takam losing that round after round five or six, you'd have said no way in a million years. You know, he was such a heavy, such a heavy favourite. He was such a heavy. Uh, he was winning the fight so convincingly that you couldn't really see a uh, foothold that Derek could have got in that particular fight. And you know, he's for someone who's not a noted one-punch knockout specialist, he closed the show like you would expect someone like you know, Dante Wilder to do. You know, one shot just got the guy out of there. And for me, that shows that you know, even when things are not going well for him, even when he's losing on points, even when he's taken absolute beating, he's still got that, that knockout punch. And that goes a long way in boxing. Just moving on, I know you spoke to Coogan in depth about Wilder Fury. Um, I spoke to Eddie Hearn today and he was sort of dismissing the lineal status of Fury. He said, what does it matter? Who cares? What's your whole thoughts on it? About the lineal oh, he's, status? He's never lost. He was the guy who beat the guy. So he kind of, he hasn't lost since. So you've got to give, you got, he holds that belt. Although he did, he, he went off the boil for a while. You know, they say, I remember when, um, I don't remember, it was a lot before my time, when uh, Muhammad Ali was stripped of his title, yeah. he was undefeated. And he, and, but people still saw him as the champion. Although Joe Frazier held the, 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 the heavyweight title at the time, people still saw Ali as the champion because he never lost. He lost the belts outside of the ring. And um, it wasn't until they got in there and fought 
that people then gave uh, Fraser his his, uh, his credit when he did finally beat Ali. Although it was after four and a half year layoff, he still gave him his credit. And I think people need to give um, uh, people who need to give uh, Tyson Fury credit because he's never lost. And uh, I, I don't think anyone could convincingly make an argument that he lost that fight against Deontay. Although he got knocked down heavily, he still, you know, he, he came out of the fight as like the people's champion. Definitely. And um, he's undefeated. He still has his own. He has a draw. Big deal. Let's see the rematch. I'm, I'm looking forward to that rematch. Both fighters are going to improve. I know John T. Wilder, although he's had a lot of fights fighting at that high level, that was one of the first first real big fights. Other than the, the Louis Ortiz, that was the first real fight that the, he's had two big fights where he's had to dig in deep, whereas Fury's had a few more than that. <laughs> um, so maybe Fury's got more experience at the higher level mm. than Wilder. But now Wilder's learned his lessons from that fight, so he'll be coming back with something new. You know, so one thing we do know is Deontay Wilder has the punch power to seriously hurt um, anyone. Fury and anyone. Yeah. And Fury also has the boxing abilities that will be improved after that fight to outbox them for 12 rounds. So both fighters are improving. It makes for a great fight. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Interesting times. Just lastly, you said he's a hero now, Tyson Fury. You had the BBC Sports Personality of the Year Awards. A lot of controversy around that saying Tyson should have won that. He didn't even get nominated. Do you see all that? I don't really look into sort of popularity competitions here. We're, 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 the good thing about boxing, it's not down to anyone else's opinion other than the three judges. Um, if he wins a, a personality competition, good luck to him. If he doesn't, who cares? You know, it won't affect his life, his career. No. And I think that he, sh he should be focusing on staying healthy, training hard, listening to what his coach says. I think his coach is very good. He should, he should stay on the right track. Don't enjoy his draw that long. Get back in the gym, get working, and uh, look forward to uh, a rematch that the fans will want to see. Well, it's an interesting 2019. Obviously, no a huge factor in that is Saturday night. Just your last message ahead of Saturday night, David. Just enjoy tuning in. Tune in. It's going to be a fantastic fight. The first fight was fight of the year. This one has, has, uh, has all the, the ingredients for that same sort of thing. Both fighters are just better than they were last time. So I'm, ex I'm anticipating a fantastic fight with a late stoppage. All right, Umar Ahmed for IFL TV here with David A. Thank you very much and we'll see you Thank tomorrow, you. David.